The loft on your driver matters. And today I'm hitting a six degree driver. Thomas is hitting a 12 degree driver. And we're gonna show you guys outside today what the differences are. Hey golfers, Thomas and Drew out here on the golf course at Les Bolstead today. We're on the ninth tee box and we're gonna do a little bit of an outside comparison. Uh, we've done something similar to this inside, but it's uh, extreme loft comparison with drivers. So I have my SIM 2 driver. It's an eight degree head uh, adjusted down to six degrees. And you've got a Rogue ST Max at 12 degrees. And so we're gonna just hit a few drivers. We're gonna see really what Trackman tells us the difference. And we're also gonna go up find our balls and see what we're left with. Because my thought is I'm probably gonna hit the ball a little bit further, but you might be able to have, uh, you're, you're certainly gonna have more accuracy out there. Yeah, and then it comes down to whether, do you wanna hit the ball far? Yeah. Or do you wanna hit the ball straight? And one of the most important things in a driver fitting is getting fit for the right loft on your driver mm -hmm. head. And end of the day, what we're looking for is we're trying to optimize the max carry and max distance but also whatever's gonna go straight for you as well is what it comes down to. Let's face it, you're a six degree driver, yeah, you can hit that thing far, but is it gonna go straight every single time? That would be the question. This is not gonna go very far from me, but is it gonna go straight? There's a good chance it might. So let's hit some shots and see what happens. Perfect. Hit that, hit that pretty solid. Hit it good. There you go. Getting closer. Oh. Cut down a little low on the face. 319. It's not straight. <laughs> All right. Well, that's very straight. That was a little bit better. Yeah, it was. Your dispersion's pretty darn good, though. turned over just a little bit, but. All right, well I'm three for three in the fairway so far. Uh, I think I'm over three. <laughs> I might have one that crept in there on that, that second shot, but your dispersion, you can kind of see how it's different there. Change is over. Ah, oh, yeah, it's quite different. Oh, there it there is. There we go. There it is. Finally hit a fairway. Uh-oh. To hook. Oh yeah. I have literally four bones right next to each other up there. Yeah, you do. All right, well, Thomas, uh, I think there's some pretty big differences there. I noticed just on the launch of the ball, I was swinging pretty hard and I had a couple good ones, but I was also had one left, I one right. So uh, and all of yours seemed like they were in one kind of little tight circle out there. Yeah, there's definitely some interesting numbers. Yes, you did swing faster than I do. You always do, so <laughs> it's hard to keep up. It's also cold. Um, yeah, it is. And I struggle to get to 110 miles an hour when it's 50 degrees mm -hmm. out. But let's take a look at the numbers and explain the differences before we look at that dispersion pattern. Um, so first thing, ball speed. What I find interesting is our smash factor numbers were actually the same, 147, 147. Mm -hmm. So both drivers were actually just as, as efficient yep. as each other were. That surprised me. I would have expected the efficiency to be a little bit higher with the six degree driver versus the 12 yeah. degree driver. However, that could also come down to the user hitting the yeah. club. I you probably may, didn't quite hit in the center like you did. You probably didn't hit in the center as often as I did. And yeah. that's where the efficiency number, I probably hit mine right in the screws and yours were a little, probably a little off center. Sure. Okay, launch angle. This is where it gets funny. Yeah. So your launch angle was 12 degrees. My launch angle was 20 degrees. <laughs> 20 with a driver, that's yeah. fun. Which I find funny because our attack angle is pretty similar. I'm up six, you're up seven. Okay. So it really comes down to the loft difference between the yeah, two drivers. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Spin, because I have a lot more loft on my driver. My ball was spinning at 3,400. Yeah. Your ball was spinning at 2,200. Yep. So that's also another loft thing there too. And then obviously we've got to talk about the distance. Um, so we have this set, the normalization is off. Yep. So this is including a slight yep. little downwind. Conditions but also, included, temperature, yep, all that Yeah, temperature, stuff. yep. Um, so your carry distance was 298 going 331. <laughs> My carry distance was 275 going 288. Yeah, which that's pretty good. I mean, for good. a 12 yeah. degree driver, that's right. pretty good. That's yep. poking it out there. And then uh, coming back to kind of other numbers here too. Landing angle, 
Landing angle with yours is 33.1. I usually like to say 30 to 40 degrees is an ideal landing angle for a driver and a driver fitting. Mine was 47.5. That thing's coming in like a pitching wedge. Yeah. Yeah. So 47.5 versus 33.1. And then if we take a look at the height, you are 100 feet on average, which is pretty good. Yeah. So I would fit you pretty, pretty closely to the loft that you've got on your driver there. Mine was 169 feet in the air. Yeah, I would not fit myself high. into a 12 degree That's driver. pretty high. And then, of course, that dispersion map, we got to just take another quick look at that. So right. I'm a little bit, I got one left, I got one right, I got a couple of good ones, and then you have just five kind of right in the middle, basically. Right. I mean, you have three really good ones that were in the fairway. I would say, yeah, within the fairway. I have five in the fairway. Yeah. So I got three out of, you, sorry, you got three out of five in the fairway. I got five out of five. But then you've got to take a look at your misses. Yeah. Your misses left and right were pretty extreme. Yeah. So that's when it comes down to that distance versus dispersion debate and getting fit for the right loft on the driver. But whether you take it to an extreme of right. six degrees or you know 12 degrees obviously is dead straight, but I could probably get away with less loft on my driver to still hit the ball fairly straight. Right, yeah, that's a, it's a pretty fun demonstration, Thomas. I think we, we get ready to go up there now and check out where the balls are and see what our second shots look like. But a uh, lot of a difference in distance and a lot of difference in that accuracy too. So like you said, it's really important to make sure you get fit for the right loft on your driver. And that's what we do at Second Swing, our master club fitters, make sure to dial you in for the right loft that gives you the best combination of distance and accuracy. So Thomas, thanks for joining today. It was a fun one. Yeah, let's go find the bowls and see where they're at. Thank you.